It was on top of Mount Sinai that God gave Moses the dates and observances of the seven feasts of the Lord, which are Passover, Unleavened Bread, First Fruits, Pentecost, Trumpets, Atonements, and then the Feast of Tabernacles. It is interesting to note that the Hebrew word for feasts is Moed, which more literally translated means divine appointments. And more importantly, all seven feasts point to and are fulfilled in Jesus. These feasts are separated into two seasons, the spring feasts and the fall feasts. Jesus was crucified on Passover. He was then buried on the Feast of Unleavened Bread and resurrected on the Feast of First Fruits. Fifty days later, the Holy Spirit was given to us on Pentecost. Now, the entire human race exists between the feasts of the spring and fall, which represent the church age. The Lord is harvesting believers and patiently beckoning those who will follow Him until the fall feasts come. These fall feasts are to be fulfilled in the second coming of Jesus. And the first of these is the Feast of Trumpets. And this represents, I believe, the rapture of the church. While the Feast of Atonement represents the second coming, and the Feast of Tabernacles represents the kingdom age of the Lord, we want to celebrate as a church the Feast of Trumpets. Jesus himself said, Behold, I am coming quickly. And we look forward to that day and welcome the return of our Lord.